Disease reprogramming of the cell's control system is a complex process with various causes, depending on the specific disease and context. Therefore, the second most common cause of disease reprogramming of the cell's control system after genetic mutations or epigenetic modifications could be environmental factors such as exposure to toxins, stress, infection, or injury, which can also disrupt normal cellular processes and lead to aberrant gene expression and cellular signaling. Additionally, Lifestyle factors such as diet, exercise, and sleep patterns can also affect cellular function and contribute to disease development. It's worth noting that disease reprogramming is often a complex, multifactorial process involving multiple causes and mechanisms. The specific factors involved can vary depending on the disease and individual case. Aggressive diseases, such as virus infections and cancer, can spread by reprogramming the metabolic control system within the cell's nucleus. Aggressive diseases such as virus infections and cancer can spread by reprogramming the metabolic control system within the cell's nucleus. The metabolic control system is the complex network of chemical reactions and pathways within cells to generate energy, synthesize molecules, and maintain cellular function. For example, the metabolic control system can be reprogrammed in cancer to support the high energy demands of rapidly dividing cancer cells. Cancer cells often exhibit altered glucose metabolism, known as the Warburg effect, which allows them to generate energy more efficiently and sustain their growth and proliferation. Similarly, viruses can also reprogram the metabolic control system of host cells to promote their replication and spread. For example, some viruses can induce the host cell to switch to glycolytic metabolism, similar to the Warburg effect in cancer, which provides the energy and building blocks necessary for viral replication. These changes in the metabolic control system can also have broader effects on cellular function and signaling pathways, leading to further changes in gene expression and cellular behavior that can promote disease progression and spread. Understanding the mechanisms underlying these changes in the metabolic control system is an active area of research to develop new disease prevention and treatment strategies. Nutrition can play a significant role in treating the cause of certain diseases by providing the necessary nutrients and building blocks for normal cellular function and repair. For example, Dietary changes can help to address metabolic imbalances or deficiencies that contribute to the development or progression of certain diseases. In some cases, dietary interventions can also help to modulate the immune system and reduce inflammation, which can be a crucial driver of many chronic diseases. For example, a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and healthy fats has been associated with a lower risk of cardiovascular disease type 2 diabetes, and certain cancers, partly due to their anti-inflammatory properties. Similarly, specific nutrients or supplements may also be recommended to address deficiencies or support particular aspects of cellular function or repair. For example, vitamin D is essential for bone health. Still, it also has immune-modulating and anti-inflammatory effects that may be beneficial in treating autoimmune diseases such as multiple sclerosis or rheumatoid arthritis. Overall, while nutrition alone may not be able to treat or cure all diseases completely, it can be essential in addressing underlying imbalances or deficiencies and promoting optimal cellular function and repair. It is necessary to consult with a healthcare professional or registered dietitian before making significant dietary changes or taking supplements, as individual needs and requirements can vary. Matthew, a cancer and stroke survivor, requests that you help spread awareness of severe diseases by publishing this video. Please take a moment to subscribe to and like this video.